Well, Kenya's CFC Stanvik Holdings raising four and a half billion shillings from an oversubscribed rights issue that will fund expansion. Joining us in studio from our Nairobi studios, Katili Mbati, Managing Director of CFC Stanvik Holdings. Thank you so much for joining us today, Ms. Mbati. So just looking at the numbers there, 12% oversubscribed. Um, you're sitting with foreign ownership now, in fact, of 74%, 74.7%. And of course, Standard Bank here in South Africa owning just over 60%. So tell us about um, this right issue in terms of the numbers that came through. And you happy uh, with, with the money that you've raised? We're actually very thrilled um, with the rights issue. Um, when we started the process um, towards the end of last year, beginning of this year, uh, there was a little trepidation about whether or not we were going to be able to raise all the money we needed. So the Standard Bank uh, underwrote the rights issue and um, the interest from the market was phenomenal. Uh, the rights which typically in Kenya don't trade, traded uh, very, very aggressively in the market. And the um, over sub the, the subscription, oh sorry, the oversubscription of the tranche that was going to be um, applied for extra shares was five times oversubscribed. Mm -hmm. And if I'm correct, you raised $52.7 million. Uh, just tell us about exactly how you're going to split that money up in terms of your expansion plans. Well, the main reason for the rights issue was if we looked at our growth in risk-weighted assets in 2010 and 2011, they were growing uh, faster than our ability to generate capital internally. So this was really to underpin our, our um, just our organic internal growth we also opened up a branch in South Sudan, um, which has also been growing a lot faster than projected. So the opportunities for um, expanding our business are, are quite large, and now we have sufficient capital to take advantage of the opportunity. So sorry, just, just to interject there, uh, $52 million, uh, as I said, just over that you've raised. So, so how much is going to go into expansion? And then how much is going to go, as you say, into in, you know, organic um, internal capital that's needed to, to adjust for the fact that you've got a lot more risk assets on your book? Well, let's put it this way. Um, all of it will go in towards the the expansion of our ability to take on both additional deposits and risk-weighted assets. So it will all go towards um, the continuation of our business. Hi, Gareth speaking. Um, you've just yeah. mentioned the, um, the interest and the growth that exceeded what you had uh, anticipated. Um, and I think this is probably prevalent for your entire region. What, um, how do you uh, uh, propose to, to manage that risk given that the growth is that much, uh, that growth given, and the risk associated with that, given that the growth uh, has actually um, exceeded your expectations? Well, um, with growth uh, does come an uptick in NPLs, and at the half year, our NPLs grew faster than projected. Um, we've been able to arrest the situation and um, they are more in line with expectations right now. So NPLs are not anything that is causing us too much concern right now. If you look at the economic environment, inflation has come down, uh, interest rates are starting to come down. So the challenges that we found with affordability of some of our borrowing clients uh, will be less of a challenge going forward. When you talk about expansion, explain to us exactly what your expansion strategy is right now. Does that entail opening up new branches? Uh, does that entail focusing on specific areas of growth, uh, for example, mobile banking? Um, just, just explain exactly what you mean by that. Okay, great. Um, what we're looking at is expanding our loan book. So our main business lines are corporate and investment banking, 
and personal and business banking. So we see a lot of businesses taking advantage of the growth in the economy. Uh, as the interest rates have come down, it's sort of increased the demand. So the capital gives us the ability to book more loans. Mm -hmm. And in Kenya, we also have a leverage ratio which restricts the amount of deposits you can take on and ties it to the capital. So additional capital means that we can also take on more deposits to fund the additional loans. I've got one last question, uh, quick question as we're running out of time. Um, this is not the first capital raise in your uh, market this year. There's been uh, quite a few others which were also oversubscribed. To what do you uh, attribute this interest in your market and specifically the interest in your market by foreigners? Well, you know, I think if we look at some of the returns that uh, some of the markets offshore are generating, are not very attractive. Whereas you look at the growth in the NSE this year and some of the exchanges across the continent, um, they appear to be very attractive even on a risk-adjusted basis.